Hello everybody, I'm Shadows Rain and you are awesome. Today we are going to be talking about buyback quads. Is it worth playing? Is it worth keeping? And how does it compare to the original uh, quads, traditional quads? Well in this video we are going to talk about exactly that. So if you enjoy the video make sure you hit that like button below and consider subscribing if you're new here and comment as well for your opinions regarding this particular topic. But with that being said, let's crack straight on with the video. So buyback quads, if you still don't know, is essentially a game mode where if you have $4,500 when you get knocked and killed, you will respawn on an 8 second timer and parachute straight back into the fight. Um, we've had this in solos and duos before, we've also had this in quads before as well in September I believe. So yeah, it's a really good mode. Um, but is should it be made permanent and how does it compare to normal quads? Well. I think it's it's a really good mode. Now, the second you land, you will start off with 4,500. You will have one buyback already. That's the equivalent of giving you a gulag, essentially. So that what that means is when you have a quads, you have enough money for a loadout drop and your munitions box straight off the bat, or UAV straight off the bat. Advanced UAV straight off the bat. Now this is really powerful because once you have your loadout drop straight away, it, it means you can be a lot more aggressive straight away. Now I love the fact that I can land, hit a shop instead of a scav, and then go out and just start killing people, pick up the bounties, hunt the most wanted, you know, that kind of crack. I really do enjoy it. Now, of, of course, this means that the game mode can be a bit more frantic than what you would otherwise expect. Um, but I don't think that's a bad thing if done right, because having a chaotic game mode is fine when you can respawn on tap. So you don't have to wait for people to go to a shop to buy you. You don't have to wait for people to fight their way to a camp shop to buy you. So I do think that is a really, really good feature. Now, my problem with main quads is the fact that it takes too long to get your team back. So for example, if you all get knocked at the start, you only want, you're the only one that gulags, uh, or you've been in a team fight and they've basically drained your team uh, and you finished off and killed all their team and they only had like $500 between them, it happens, you know it happens, uh, then that does cause problems. And it causes problems because then you've got to then put yourself at risk and go out and hunt for money and get these people back one by one or do a most wanted, which makes you more vulnerable, which means you're usually flying around or camping a corner or driving around for three minutes. Not really exciting gameplay, is it? Now, in trios, this isn't too much of a problem because finding finding eight grand isn't as hard as finding 12. Uh, you'll know what I mean if you've ever tried to buy back all your teammates in quads. Um, but it's just so much easier to do it in trios, duos. And to be honest, I think that this is I think this is a, a design flaw of quads. Uh, I know that we didn't always have quads in Warzone. Uh, we, if I remember a time, we only had trios and solos. Uh, and then we got eventually got duos and then obviously we got quads. So I do like the fact that we, we do have an alternative for quads. And the best thing about this uh, buyback quads is that it actually it counts as a win so if you win on quads that goes on your main warzone record instead of like the a mini warzone record or a separate record uh, like the zombies mode did so that's really 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 exciting um so it's a really good way to get some wins actually when you if you're an aggressive team you can play this game mode even as a trio um which will also get you better lobbies um but you can do that and then you can basically be you can push more if you've got the money in the bank you can afford to push and you absolutely should. And when you die, you don't drop all of your money, uh, which is really exciting. You just lose the 4,500 you use to respawn. And it's good because if someone's got like 10 grand and you're sat there on like three grand, you can just ask them to drop you a grand and you're, you've, you've basically got a respawn. You can push them over a shotgun. You can you can do whatever you want. You're, you're allowed to be a lot more daring in, in buyback quads. And I really enjoy that aspect of it because too many people are camping these days. Too many people are hiding with the heartbeat sensors. Um, but obviously for me, throwing snapshots of people and pushing them as a team, I am absolutely loving it. So go figure. <laughs> but um, another thing that I really do want to kind of stress as well is the fact that if this game mode is made permanent, I think it should replace quads. I know that we've got the choice between normal quads and buyback quads, but I think it should replace quads. Uh, I really do because normal quads is just a bit too hectic. Normal quads is just, you know, like I say, I've already mentioned the problems with, with, with normal quads. So I do think it's an alternative as well. And actually, when you do have that fourth person who's trying to drop into your squad and you're kind of like, yes, but mm, I'd rather play trios. 
you can have the argument of saying, right, okay, cool, uh, we got a fourth, that's exciting, that means we can actually go and play a buyback. It's exciting because it actually means you're looking for a fourth now instead of trying to avoid having a fourth. Uh, so I think that's really, really cool. Um, obviously, it invites more people in as well. And for the weaker players that might bang with you, like, it, it's good for them too because if they, like, die, they can come back. You've just, you just got to make sure that they've got enough money for it. Um, so, yeah, I, I really do enjoy the game mode. Now, another thing that we need to consider as well is the fact, will it be made permanent? I don't think it will be, which is a shame because I really do like this mode. Um, and I think it could save quads. I really do. I think it could save Warzone, actually. I think this is a uh, this is a good change. This is a positive change. This is a change that should stick because I do think it's going to breathe a, a breath of fresh air into a game which is starting to stagnate, even with all the new weapons, even with the integration, which wasn't really an integration and what's coming with this vanguard game apparently so i do actually really think that this is a breath of fresh air and we should keep this mode so hopefully we do um fingers crossed but we should try and make that happen and i really 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 enjoy the game mode um with all that being said everyone uh, there will be no podcast on saturday it'll be a gameplay video instead um so we'll have a, we'll have a podcast the week after don't worry uh, so yeah uh, essentially uh, that's basically what's happening uh, apologies that these videos uh tuesday and thursday have been uh, dropping at around 10 p.m uh, that's nothing personal it's just the case of uh well football's coming home isn't it so we've had a few late nights um which means i haven't been editing in the morning that i normally would be so yeah <laughs> but guys till then i've been shadows rain you guys have been awesome and i want to know what you guys think about buyback quads in the comment section below till then have a good one. peace <laughs>